For Glen Mary, a pillar is something firm on which we can stand while we're doing our missionary activity. And Glen Mary has historically had five pillars of missionary activity. Glen Mary speaks of Catholic nurture as one of the pillars that supports our mission. So yes, Catholic nurture is providing the sacraments for those who are already Catholic, making sure they have that basic need. I'm responsible for the souls of the faithful. You have to understand their faith journey, and you have to walk with them on their faith journey and meet their spiritual needs, which may involve anointing of the sick, hospital visits, mass sacraments, having a cup of coffee with them some days. The first priest year, if you miss church, you get a call from him. <laughs> he'll call you. If you don't show up, two Sundays in a row, he'll come and visit you with a fruit basket. At the end, it's our mission as Catholics. We must go and evangelize to the ends of the world. That's what the Jesus asked us to do. We come to this uh, beautiful town, small towns of the U.S., where there are people who have no faith at all. And that's why we are here as a Glen Marians to introduce the good news to those people who never heard about Jesus Christ. This is knocking on doors. This is writing stuff in the local paper. This is getting on Facebook and talking about Jesus. This is presence ministry, you know, going to the local McDonald's or Hardee's and just sitting with the people there and having perhaps important conversations about life and then maybe at some point talking to them about faith in Jesus Christ. Ecumenism really means Christian unity. How do we partner with, with other Christians to serve those in those communities, but also how do we respond to Christ's call that all Christians would be one? In just the last seven years or so, I've been to 250 different churches. All that I do is just show up and stay out of the way of the Holy Spirit. I have an opportunity to do uh, exercise with the ministers from uh, different churches. We say we are men of God together, building each other and uh, empowering each other to be leaders for the sake of the kingdom. We reach out to the poor, the disadvantaged, and we do this in ways such as starting a food pantry, a clothing closet. We go into the jails and prisons. People know Matthew 25. Where did you see me sick, in prison, etc.? And what we know is that we will find Jesus when we reach out to the most vulnerable and that that is an essential part of our walk as Christians, our duty as Christians. But also thinking about why people are poor, why they're vulnerable, why they're down and out, why they're addicted, and to get at the systemic structural reasons behind that. Social injustices that we see in our missions is a lot of times problems with housing, as well as services, uh, in public services, how many people who are poor don't have access to, to programs that will help them out of that poverty. When people are seen and heard, they are empowered and they come into themselves. They reach out to other people and want to make change. We are part of a larger, much larger entity that spans all cultures, all peoples throughout the whole world, and really throughout time. We have uh, people in our mission counties, and these are kind of, you know, isolated rural areas. It's helping the Catholics who are part of those areas see that they are part of a greater church. The flip side of that, of course, is helping people who are kind of part of the universal church know more about the mission needs that are existing in rural America. The full mission of Glen Mary is a blessing to the bigger church, that we not only need home missions, but the fullness of what Catholic Christianity should be, and that mission should look like, that ministry should look like, is also a gift that we can bring in those places in the church that maybe haven't heard that. <laughs>